Hey again, Eric Zubik, aka Zubidoo77, coming to you with another edition of Mario Kart 64 VA Tournament Archive. We are we are on part three of our current episode, The Rise and Fall of VA. Now covering the two longest tracks, but before we start, we have our Stump the Fans trivia question coming at you right now. Well, I will post the question in the description if you don't understand what I'm saying Aying on this one. True or false, Weatherton has made the finals at least once in his entire VA career. Meaning every year, of course. Take some time to answer that. The answer will be revealed on Friday. And when we go to Toad's Turnpike. Meanwhile, enjoy the Rainbow Road. And Nash found himself off the track, as everyone else uh, made the leap down very look very easy, of course. And we have Ahmed. This is a pretty long track, technically. Just got to avoid the chain chomps as best you can. And, I mean, take it from there, see how close you can get. At this point, we kind of already know who the top three are going to be. Hey, honestly. I mean, I hate revealing that this soon in the race. But, unfortunately, that's the case right here, as you can tell the gap. Meanwhile, Frankie has a shell game. Aim as he's blocking. Oh! He got a banana just in time to block. Nice. Woo! Frankie gets hit. Hit allowing Weatherton to take the lead. Anyway, triple reds for Frankie. It's Red Mania. Oh, with Frankie Matias. Frankie now has the shell for Weatherton. Sends back hit him back into the lead. As we are nearing lap one. Oh, and oh, and everyone's un has total shrinkage. Thanks to Nash. We are about to approach the best part about this entire week. Fun facts! Alright, now, fun facts for people who don't know. Oh, was like a thing in 2018. In where... Where they reveal random facts about each player. And I will honor this tradition by starting with Nash. Nash... True, this was his first Mario Kart 64 tournament back in 2017, but little did anybody know he was actually in VA in 2016 as well. well. I mean, I mean, not too many people would know about that, but except for the people that have went that year, of course. But yeah, very interesting. Hey, even though this was clearly 2017 was clearly his first kart tournament. On the Frankie, we have a weird fact about him. And during his lumberjack days, he once had to yodel to make a tree fall down. Because he was chopping the tree, but it wouldn't fall. So, so Frankie had distinct yodeling powers to make it fall over. I mean, quite a shock, considering that a lumberjack act never usually yodels. I mean, Frankie's like the only one in history that can actually do that. On to Matthias, people sometimes mistaken him for the modern-day Hitler. Not to be racist or anything, but... But, literally, he dominates that much in cart and on shortcut. People often mistake him for that. Him for that. Clearly. It sounds weird, but it's kind of true. And Weatherton, we have... I have a fact about him. His parents actually control the weather. And every meteorologist in the entire nation looks up to the Weathertons, honestly. Because, because their family actually controls the weather in Lake Anna. And beyond. Meanwhile, on the lap three we go, we have a 
not so tight race between Matias and Frankie. Okay, I'm lying. We do have a tight race between Matias and Frankie, actually. As Weatherton fires off a bolt. Bolt to catch up with the top two. Alright, up the spiral we go. I mean, who would have thought it would be dead even between Matias and Frankie? Nearly. Oh, Frankie flips on a banana. Oh, here we go. And we got a star. R on his box. Triple reds for Weatherton. A.K.A. the people who control the weather. <laughs> on to Matias. This who's still dominating with a very slim lead. Got a green shell behind him, but Frankie still got that star. Alright, he can pretty much catch up. Triple Nash. Triple Shroom for Nash. Who obviously is going to have a goose egg. Sorry to spoil. The, sorry to burst the bagels. And a double star for Frankie. He caught up and... Oh man, he's going to steal this from Matias. Oh, there goes a perfect game. But Nash is going for an anti-perfect game, as we can tell. Getting all bagels. But unfortunately, as I said yesterday, no cream cheese available. As we head on over to Wario Stadium, a.k.a. the second longest track, but quickest in the shortcut world. World. Odd, odd to say, but it's kind of true. But yeah. But yeah, once again, another tight battle. This time it's Weatherton and Matias. Frankie, a, a not-so-distant third. Or to start things off. Oh, triple reds for Nash, but they all bonk on the wall. Crap. Anyway, Matias with those triple shrooms. Oh, yeah, he's cycling through the items, kind of like Mark Jones usually would. Shoutouts to DNTN31, by the way. Hey, in case he's watching this. All right, still slightly with Weatherton and Matias. Frankie about to catch up, possibly. Oh, yeah, he went into second. Weatherton's hit was good enough. I'll have to put him in third place, unfortunately. Oh, Frankie takes the lead. Oh, ho. Oh, and it's the Shroom game, except for Matias, who has a boo. All right, we're heading into lap number two. Who at this point? Oh, shell game between Frankie and Weatherton right now. Matias still holding on to that boo. I don't know why he's still doing it. Shit. Hit when he really should be using it. Hmm. Huh. Never knew that before, actually. Even the boot to protect yourself. I mean, I never would have thought of that strategy before. It's weird. So, all right. Still got a shroom. Boom. Oh, and oh, good luck for Matias. He steals a shroom and and protects himself from the two reds. Nice. All right, on to lap number three. E, Frankie, and Matias are one and two at this point. Oh, shock! Bam! Bam! Shock dodge for Frankie. Also, shout-outs to TWD98, who is more of a Mario Kart Wii player, but... But, yeah. But, yeah, he has, he has the rights on uh, Mario Kart Wii for that catchphrase. Is, I mean, 
I'm not trying to steal it, but at least try to utilize it for Mario Kart 64, possibly, but... Oh, man. Meanwhile, Frankie's still trucking with that lead. But now, a possible battle between Matias and Weatherton, and possibly... But yeah, we already know we already know who the top three are. Or if I didn't really mention it, it is now down to who has the most points. All right, Frankie the Yodeling Lumberjack takes it in first. Matthias, oof, the Hitler Mario Kart second place, and and the family that controls the weather are in third. Uh, Nash turning into a true Philadelphian, and taking the bagel with no cream cheese, or butter, sorry to say. Anyway, we have today's coverage in the books. Tomorrow, we will have, have even more, or from the rest of the Star Cup. So tune in next time for another edition of Mario Kart 64 VA Tournament Archive.